Welcome to Mrs. Boer's Tessellations Workshop. I'm Mr. Boer, your host today, and I'm going to teach you how to make your own tessellations. You probably just watched a great video that showed you a lot of things you could do, and I believe you can make beautiful artworks like that too. But today we're going to start with doing something simple. You can uh, uh, make these many different ways, but uh, what I'm going to tell you to do today, we're going to use a ruler, a pencil, and a scissors. And uh, today I might actually use a pen just so you can see easier what I'm doing. But basically what we're going to do, if you look down over here, is uh, we can either cut a triangle, which would be an equilateral triangle because it has to have equal sides, or a square. Today I'm going to cut out a square out of this piece of paper right here. Now, you don't want to watch me cutting, so I'm going to just start with a square. Once you have the square, uh, you can draw any kind of shape that you want on it. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to draw a shape that's something like this. It'll point out and come back in. And once we do that, we can take our scissors and we can cut out the shape that we've just drawn out of this square. So once this, the, it is cut out of there, we can use this. This is our first template. We got to do a couple different templates that we're that we're going to do over time, but this is the one we start with. So, once it's done, I line up the edges just like this. I grab my pencil or my pen, whatever I'm using, and I draw the shape all the way around every edge until it's on there. Now, once, once it's done, I move my template so that the piece that I cut out is now lined up with the opposite side of the square. And so now I draw there, I draw there, and I draw there. And so once that's done, I grab my scissors and I cut out a shape that looks like that. So now I have this little piece out here. If you'll look at this, it no longer looks like a square but it's actually the exact same area. The amazing thing about geometry, I cut out exactly what I had on this side and I put it on this side. So we've made our own geometric shape that has the exact same area as a two and three quarter inch by two and three quarter inch square. So once I have my template, you know, I could use it like this, but it's way more fun if I do a little more with it. So my next step is to come by and I use this as a template. I draw all the way around. Oop, it came off just a little bit, so I just line it back up. I draw on this edge, and I still have to get my top edge right there. So now I have the whole shape on here. Now I can do something a little more creative with it if I want to. What I can do is, let's say I'm gonna Make a little line that goes up and a little squiggle line going down. Like I said, if you're doing this on your own, you can do whatever you want to, but today, this is the shape that we're gonna do. So now, I cut it all out and it should look about like this. Now, you know, granted I didn't do it exactly the same as this template, but that's okay. <laughs> so now, I grab this piece out here and I cut it out. Now I begin, I continue my, my template making and I do the same thing I did with the other one. So I come in, I draw the whole shape over here like that. I draw it all the way around there like that. And gotta get the back side again. Right there. So now once I've done that, I can move my template over to the other side, make sure it lines up again nice on the edges. You notice it's still like a square right here. It goes from this corner, this corner, this corner, to this corner. So I make sure I line up the edges of those corners of the square again. And once I do that, I write onto the top of this the exact same shape that I had on this one over here. So now, this flips over here like that, so I cut it out, 
and I should have a shape that looks something like this. So once I have this, this is my completed template. You notice right here, it doesn't quite look like the square anymore. However, even though it doesn't look like the square anymore, it's still the same area. We've cut out this part here, put it on the front, we've cut out this part here, and put it on the top. So now I have my template and it's ready to create my own artwork using my own created geometric shape. And so what I do is I come on here and I keep drawing and I'll put this all over. I'm going to draw kind of quick so it might not look really good. Usually I'm going to take a little more time with it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to make it really quick. I draw the shape. I get it on the page. You'll notice that right now this side of my template should always light up, line up. And so I can add on another shape like this. Put it all on there. And then you'll notice that it also lines up on the top because that's the way we made our template. And now our tessellation is a repeating pattern that goes over the page. Kind of like this. Now, I'll show you the one I took my time with a little bit more. And it's going to look a little more like this. As you continue the project, you're going to find that this tessellation continues the pattern all over your page. And once it does, now you can do different things that you want to do with it. You can look in here and try to find what you think would look like a great shape to do. I'm going to look at this and let's say um, I want to put a little line over here. I kind of think this looks a bit like a chicken. So I'm going to make a beak and I'm going to make the comb that goes on the, I guess it'd be a rooster's head. And I'm going to make a little eyeball. Now you might look in this and think it looks like a fish. You could add something on the leg like too. But today we're going to make this tessellation look like a chicken. And so you can come in here, you draw on the line on each one of them, give them a little eye, complete the comb, and then you can start to color it. Now you can do it however you want because it's your tessellation, but this is Mrs. Boer's tessellation. She came by, made all the beaks orange, all the combs red, and then made different colors for each one of them. You can choose whatever you want to do and uh, enjoy making your own tessellations.